Hey, what's up, y'all? If you're new here, my name is Ashley. If not, then you know me, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be talking about how I got into what I want to say are my dream schools, my dream colleges. So, I will do my very best to break down the video into different parts and I'll also put timestamps in the description box below so you guys can skip to any part of the video that you would like to. So I'm going to split this video into four parts, background, the college application process, stats, and extra tips that I feel like are helpful and important things to just keep in mind when you're applying to college. So I actually did not even have a necessary dream school, I just knew that I wanted to continue my education at a university that had a good program for what I wanted to study so I plan on going to medical school eventually in the future and I just wanted to make sure that the school that I wanted to go to had things such as research opportunities opportunities for me to you know shadow a doctor pre-med programs etc in the process of me doing this I did change my mind a lot I wanted to go to the Columbia I wanted to go to NYU I wanted to go to UGA I, I was all over the place you guys so if you change your mind on what school you want to go to just know that like it's completely okay you're still gonna get your degree you're still gonna go do what you need to do i use things such as google i watch youtube videos and i use the website called niche.com to do my research to figure out which schools had everything that i wanted to do majoring in biochemistry which i believe will properly prepare me for medical school and i also like chemistry so that's a plus definitely study something that you love a common misconception about pre-meds is that in order to go to medical school you need to you need to be a pre-med major but that is completely false you can actually major in whatever you like as long as you take the proper prerequisites to get into your desired medical school i applied to i want to say almost 60 schools approximately um so i applied to hbcus using the common black college application the other hbcus i applied to were xavier university of louisiana and i applied to selman college in atlanta with some of these schools also i would say you need to do your research because not all schools are going to be on the common application not all schools are going to be on the common black college application you need to do your research to see if you're if you're supposed to apply through the school's website or if you can apply with Common App. If I'm not mistaken, there's also another application platform that you can use to apply to schools. Using the Common application, I applied to Bryn Mawr College, Drake University, Fordham, NYU, Pace, Smith College, Southern Methodist University, Spelman, Syracuse, Trinity, Tulane, University of Dayton, and Washington University in St. Louis. And then outside of the Common application, and the Common Black College application. I also applied to UC schools. I applied to UC Irvine, Santa Barbara, San Diego, and Los Angeles through the UC application, which if you're interested in doing that, that's a whole nother website. I will also link these in the description box below in case you guys are having a hard time finding this, you can just click on it and go to the website. So I feel like my number one tip with the college application process is you need to make sure that you're managing your time properly and also stay organized because if you're not organized you will miss deadlines. So some schools they open their applications later than others, some they, they're not updating it on the common app so you have to go to the school's website to apply. Keep the deadlines in mind, keep, keep in mind when the application opens. Another thing to check for is, I know some schools will give students priority to scholarships if they apply by a certain date, so also keep a lookout for that. Basically, guys, just stay organized. I cannot emphasize this enough because I actually missed the deadline for the UC schools and I only got to apply because they extended it, so praise be to God for that. So once you figure out what schools you want to apply to, take a look at what each school requires. And common thing for the schools is that they are going to require for you to write a personal statement, aka the Common App Essay. The Common App Essay, you can find the prompts on the Common App website itself. Um, let me know if you guys would like a video of me reading my essay and basically how I thought of it. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like for me to do that. Work on your essay. Your essay is really important. It's 
your chance to show the admissions office i'm not just another number this is me this is my story in 600 words or less i personally i started my essay the first day of summer because i was super excited to start applying to colleges and i had it looked over so many times i had my sister look at it she's really good at that i had a couple of my friends that went to essay helping classes assistant classes whatever you want to call it i had them look over it basically i just got a whole bunch of guidance from as many people as i could when it comes to writing your essay you should be really open-minded and really take into consideration what other people are telling you instead of taking it as negative critique because you need all the help that you can get this is your future this is they're not doing this to discourage you this is to help you take all their advice and apply it to their to your essay so you can have the best possible application so if you guys would like a video of me reading my common out essay because i'm really proud of it and i would love to read it so yeah another thing that you guys should make sure that you're doing is once you finish your personal statement look at the schools that also require supplements so if your top choice school is requiring a supplement you're going to want to focus on the supplements for your top choice school and not your safety school i feel like that's common knowledge but i mean sometimes it's easy to get sidetracked and not prioritize another thing supplements tend to be repetitive for all the schools they just switch out the name so make sure you're not turning in a instant supplement to harvard another thing that i would definitely recommend is to submit a resume if you guys do not have a resume to submit you should probably start working on creating a resume i know some applications such as the common um app they you have a specific area on the website where you can build a resume with the website however for schools where you can't do that it's really good to have a college resume on hand so that you can submit it to other schools let me know if you guys would also like a video on that i know in my last video somebody asked for a how to make a scholarship resume so i might just do that i'll do like a how to make a scholarship resume and then how to make one for college as well because they're somewhat similar for the next part of this video i'm going to be talking about my stats so before i say anything i would just like to say that numbers do not define you numbers do not define you numbers do not define you okay if your stats don't match mine that is completely fine my stats didn't match anybody's um when i was watching youtube videos when i was searching up things on google my stats did not match anybody's stats who were going to the schools that i wanted to go to but i still got into the schools that i wanted to get into so i just want to say if you know that you are if you know that you have the grades for it if you know that your extracurricular activities are banging if you know that you put in that hard work do not be discouraged to apply because you never know another thing that i like to say when i was applying to all these schools i did not know my actual gpa gpa that i listed was lower than my actual gpa i also did not apply to any of these schools with ap classes because i did not know that my school would be offering ap classes in the fall and i also did not apply to any of these schools with my sat i went with the optional and i basically did not have to turn in my sat i did take two honors classes however i took honors physics and honors pre-calculus on my application i stated that i had a 4.0 weighted and unweighted zero ap's and no sat submission at the end of high school i ended up having a unweighted 4.0 a weighted 4.22 and a cumulative 4.07. I chose not to take any of the AP tests. I did eventually have to go back in and turn in my SAT score. I felt as though it would possibly help increase my chances of getting a scholarship. Final SAT score was a 1300. I got 650 on both sections and that was after I took it the second time. The first time I did get an 1140 on my SAT. Um, extracurricular activities that I listed were track and field. It wasn't like varsity or anything or I didn't really have a leadership position. When I did track I just did it for fun as a club with the Germans. However I did do it for um I was in track for four years. I think if you're consistent with something, if you show your passion about something, that's also really good. I did research for MD insiders and medical debt eradicators. I was a, a volunteer for NCS and I've been a volunteer for ACS since seventh grade. 
I believe my most impactful extracurricular activities are the fact that I was vice president of Reach for the Stars, which is a nonprofit tutoring organization, and I was vice president of my Youth American Red Cross. Lastly, get recommendation letters okay the only way you can get a recommendation letter is if you're building great relationships with the leaders in front of you have a great relationship with your coach have a great relationship with your teacher make sure that wherever you go you are leaving a great impression of yourself so that in the future if you need that recommendation letter you can have a great recommendation letter so get these recommendation letters ahead of time if you know that you're gonna need one recommendation letter go ahead and ask three people for a recommendation letter because you never know who's gonna say oh i'm so sorry i was not able to get you your recommendation letter in time the last thing you want is that you worked so hard on your application and you're ready to submit it but it doesn't go through because that one recommendation letter was missing hey y'all so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i guess i should finally say i will be attending ucla in the fall i'm super for excited um, for a new environment I'll probably be making more videos when I get to college and you guys continue to let me know what you would like to see from me because I, I love to help I love to help I really love that my videos are helpful oh also a big thank you for letting my last scholarship video get to 1.2k views I was so happy I love that I'm able to help this many people using this YouTube platform so yes thank you guys so much i feel really humbled i feel really happy and i'm super excited to continue this journey and i'm super excited to continue to see you guys succeed and do well in your future endeavors